Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to take a look at the sketch tool, Check Sketch for Feature. This is an incredibly powerful tool when we're working with complex sketches. To show just how powerful the tool is, we'll do a little comparison today. Working with an imported sketch from an external source, we're going to try and implement an extrude cut. As you can see here, when we try and do so, we're presented with some rebuild errors. One way that we could kind of work around this problem is to go through and individually select each of the closed contours within our sketch. That said, it's likely going to be time consuming to do so. In fact, so time consuming that we'll throw a timer on and speed this video recording up by four and a half times while we push it off to the side. In the meantime, Let's reopen this part and we'll execute that extrude cut again just to show you that we're dealing with the same sketch. As you'll see in just a moment, when we go to execute the extrude cut, we're presented with the same rebuild error. This time, however, instead of selecting each of the sketch contours, let's use the sketch tool Check Sketch for Feature. When selected, the tool will launch asking us to verify the feature usage. In this case, we'll stick with Cut Extrude and select Check. SOLIDWORKS immediately notifies us that our sketch has more than one open contour. By selecting OK, the Repair Sketch tool will be launched. As you'll see here, Repair Sketch is great at identifying problems with our sketch. Zooming in on this magnified point, we see a tiny floating entity. At this stage, we could manually select that floating entity to remove it, but I found a quicker way. After utilizing Repair Sketch to identify where the problems may lie, I'll close it out and relaunch the Check Sketch for Feature tool. Once the tool launches, I'll again make sure the feature usage is properly selected and hit that Check button. Except this time, instead of OK to launch the Repair Sketch tool, I'm going to hit Cancel. By doing so, the Check Sketch for Feature tool remains open, and a sketch entity in a problematic area identified by Repair Sketch has automatically been selected. To remove it, simply press the Delete key. With the Check Sketch for Feature tool remaining open, cycle through the process again to remove any remaining problematic entities. During this process, it is important to note that you want to be aware of what you're deleting. So if you didn't do a great inspection with the Repair tool, take the opportunity now to inspect the selected entity before deletion. Once all problematic sketch entities have been removed, the Check Sketch for Feature tool will return with no problems found. We can now expect that when we try to implement our desired feature, we won't have any problems. And as we can see by the successful preview here, I'm more than confident that the extrude cut is going to successfully work. And of course, it does. So as a quick recap, the Check Sketch for Feature tool allowed us to quickly repair our sketch and successfully implement the extrude cut with a rebuild time of only half a second. Switching back now to the workaround method, Load times in between the contour selections have this process coming in at just over 10 minutes to complete. Yes, we have successfully implemented the cut extrude, but the rebuild time is a whopping 13 and a half seconds as opposed to the half a second when we corrected our sketch using the Check Sketch for Feature tool. In conclusion, the Sketch tool Check Sketch for Feature can save you a lot of valuable time when it comes to troubleshooting sketches for feature creation. Thank you.